truth is I don't really like to talk about myself per se, but since you're asking, I always loved art. Since I was a kid, I loved art. I always was looking for something like on a higher level, something that's more spiritual. I was in yeshiva until I was age 23. I went into real estate and then slowly but surely, I, you know, I got introduced to artists and I started collecting all kinds of art. Today I don't collect. Today I do my own work. I like to look at other artists, other paintings, but not as a collector or as an artist. It depends on the subject. Sometimes I can get very, very detailed, very realistic. Sometimes I paint more impressionistic, more loose. It all boils down to a certain inspiration. This is the Kosovo Rebbe, lives in Bar Park. Uh, his name is Rabbi Hager. He visited Sfas a couple of years ago. This was like a Kabbalah Sponim. It was a welcome because of the, of the Sfas atmosphere. You could see the blue in the back. The character that's sitting here, I don't know, somehow it came out. It wasn't intentional, but it resembles the Vishnitzer Rebbe, the Imre Chaim. I'm a Vishnitzer, so it means a lot to me. One of the things that I like to paint is I like to paint artists. In my office I have all around Orthodox Jewish artists. This painting is uh, in the studio of Yitzhak Holtz when he had the studio. If this could make a painting Yitzhak, mashuk. Uh, I used to visit him often over there and I decided once that I must make a painting from a studio. Every person brings something new to the world and especially an artist brings to art something new. This is uh, Zalman Kleiman, Olav Asholem, who's a Lubavitcher, uh, a great artist. He did a lot of uh, illustrations for uh, children's books and paintings. When I came by this photograph, I said to myself, oh, I must make a painting from this. This is so powerful. I was walking down in the village. There was like a little gallery and I saw paintings and I was looking, who's the name of the artist? And I, li I liked the work. It was something that you could feel it was from the heart. And I was looking to see who signed the painting. And I saw the name, his name was John Silver. And I figured, you know what? I'm gonna have to find out the number to this guy and call him up. Maybe I can take some lessons from him. And that's what I did. But that goes back 15 years ago. He taught me the basics, you know, how to use a brush, how to mix colors, and I did self-portrait of myself. So we did it like together. I learned a lot from him. When I just started painting, I tried to show that I'm an artist and a businessman at the same time. A businessman, because you see I'm dressed in a suit and a hat. So you have here the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red, which shows that I'm an artist, I'm trying to, I'm starting to paint. Then you have all these colors in the back as a collage. This is what it is. Me, as an artist. There's another person that came into the picture that really got me going. Yeah, and his name was Simon Gaon. And we're just talking, he tells me, yeah, he's an artist and I should come and visit him sometimes. Uh, well, I said, okay, well, you know. It took about five years and one day out of nowhere, I don't know what came into my mind, I should go visit him. And I called him, so I made up and I went. I was telling him that I studied art. He says, you have to paint yourself. From his window, you could see the Washington Bridge, the Hudson River, and he gave me like a little canvas. He tells me, let me see what you can do. Yeah, so I took a little bit of paint and I started to paint. He says, you know, I could tell from this, painting that you can become an artist, you can paint. He says, but you gotta go home, you gotta put up an easel, and you gotta start painting. And that's what happened. I kept on painting and painting. I was like on a marathon. Paint. I didn't stop painting. I, I mean, I painted like in, the, in that particular time, in over a matter of three, four years, like over a hundred paintings. It was every week I painted and painted and painted. I, there was a lot in me that was bottled up in me for years that I wanted to bring out on canvas. And that was the opportunity 
to bring it out on canvas. So I guess it was a combination that really got me going and painting. You know, it was my childhood in Yerushalayim that I wanted to really bring out. It was nostalgic. I wanted to save those childhood moments and, and bring it on canvas. This is my latest phrase. I'm not in Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim is in me. And that's what keeps me going because I have to constantly come back to Yerushalayim. The Wailing Wall, the Koisal Maravi, has been photographed and painted, I'm sure, thousands of times. But I think I captured something very, very unique in this painting. There's a lot of solemn introspection where you basically come to pray, not as much as a tourist place, but as a place of prayer and a connection with God. There's a little bit of Shaul Victor here, as far as the brush strokes. You could see the strokes here in the tree, and these trees, the green, and the green over here. You see, Simon Gaon was a more of an of a indirect mentor, not so much his style. John Silver was a teacher, but Shaul Victor was like somebody who I try to emulate in painting to really try to paint in that sort of style. I commissioned them to do about six, seven major pieces. I sent them the photograph. He lived in Sfas, he's not here anymore. He was a very, very gifted artist. But this is a painting by Yitzhak Holtz. We were very, very friendly. And I uh, asked him if he can do this painting from a photo. In the photo were only these two older women talking. And then he added on all these other characters which really makes the whole place much more human and living. It's like reminds me when I lived over there and I used to walk to the Cheder, you have the entire light of your Shalim. You feel like you're in the place. You capture the light of your Shalim, which is a very special light. This is a painting from a painting. If you could see, I even signed it. Frucht after Holz, because the original painting was done by Yitzhak Holz. So this is a wedding in Yerushalayim. We are in a time of twilight. We're waiting for Mashiach and we want already the redemption. So there's a, a something very poetic and symbolic about this painting. I got my education from observing, meaning I could have looked through in the last um, 10 odd years, catalogs like art cat auction catalogs from Sotheby's, from Christie's, from other. I would say thousands. And then you get your inspiration and, and what you really feel in expressing what you want to express. It's a gift from Hashem that it gives you the talent and you have to develop it. I did most of my work is in Yerushalayim. You could see in my book that I published, I have uh, of Hasidic Sherebus, Litvish Sherebus, I have paintings of artists, of still life. You know, all these subjects are they're all Jewish related, which be coming back to my soul which I want to express my way you know it's, in a certain way it, this is what this is what a soul is all about you know it says and we say every morning call on a Shema to well, how, how do you how do you praise Hashem call on a Shema every soul this is my way of expressing the Halalka it's a certain way of praising Hashem this is the most recent painting I made from a black and white photo these are the three Baba Rebbes that are not here anymore. This was the Kedushas Tzien, Zaycha Tzadik Levracha, and then his son of Shloyma, Zaycha Tzadik Levracha, and his grandson, the Rebbe Naftulcha. So when I came from Israel, we lived in Crown Heights, and I went to the Baba Rechader, and he was the Rebbe then of Shloyma Baba Ber, and I was very much influenced in a way from him. So I wanted many, many years to be able to bring out that Bob of her spirit. This is Rafael Eisenberg in his study, and I love to paint artists. He is a Lubavitcher, a Chosid, a Balchuva, a painter. When I do these, black and white, I like to bring a lot of light from the back. This is one of my early, early paintings, and I'm still trying to discover myself how to really paint and how to express myself was a little bit challenging to be able to 
bring out the flames in the candles. It's, it's not a simple uh, task. Actually, this was one of my early paintings. And when I started painting, I started with a smaller size canvas. It took me a lot of time to do this little painting. You'd be surprised. Also, my Asha Arim. The same location, if you could tell, you see the fruits and everything, but on a smaller version, of course. Every artist has his signature of color, so to speak, because that's what his soul relates to these colors, and that's what he uses as an expression of his soul. It's, it's a certain poetry. You'll never find in a photograph what, what a human being can put into a painting. Maybe the painting is not as detailed as the photograph, but you bring out the essence of the person or of the subject on the canvas. You could see there's a vision and that's what makes art, that's what makes a painting so special versus a photograph. There is a, there's an expression of a soul in it. There's a posse in Tehillim. Oide Hashem me'oid b'fi b'sechra b'mahalalenu. Every person has a mission in life and that's why we daven every day. We give hado and shavach for Hashem and sometimes you have to do it in public. You have to show the public, they should also appreciate, look what kind of a gift Hashem gave this person, what talent He gave this person. Because that's what a soul always wants to connect with that mission. It's a pella that a human being can take paint, mix it, and bring out an essence from, from a person or from a subject. It's amazing when you see Hashem gave you a gift to be able to produce and put it on canvas. It's thrilling. We always in life want to do something constructive and meaningful, something new, be able to uplift you. I'll always be very, very grateful and thankful for John for teaching me the basics of art and to Simon for encouraging me to paint. They gave me wings to fly. I would have been a bird in a cage but never been able to fly and they gave me those wings to fly. Thank you.